Hello and welcome to another Yoldy Battle Let's Hobby video. This time we're doing another um, Dark Angels Army Showcase. It's got a lot bigger since the last one. It's about, about a year since I did the last showcase video. It's now it's now hit over 10,000 points, that, even without my Lion model. I'm not going to go into too much detail about him today, as there's another, another video with him in. Um, so here it all is. Um, I'm still calling it the Pride of Pride of Caliban. My successor chapter, but I only ever run them as pure Dark Angels. Yeah, um, I don't remember what's different from the last time I did one of these videos. I did watch the previous one to sort of see, but I, it's it's too much <laughs> to go through it, so I'm just going to go through the whole thing again. Um, I've kind of got it separated into, into different bits, but it's so big now it, it can't be really separated into like the wings like they did in the last one because those wings all kind of merge together to a certain extent apart from sort of the raven wing over this side and the death wing here or the rest of it is just um green wing for want of a better word um so at the front these are definitely new i've got some of the firstborn characters i've got ezekiel asmodai and azriel and i've also got these five little dudes these are these are from mercs vs relics um so i can use those with terminate squads with the lion um, so yeah, they're just those cool, little fun little things to get. And I've got those three. I've also got Belial, he's new. Um, and I'll, I think, I don't know if I had Samuel before, but I've got Samuel. I've got all five of the original named characters, and I've also got Lazarus now, the only Primaris named character for Dark Angels. So they're all definitely new. Um, I've also got the Lion. Um, but let's see the other video for more information about him. Um... And then, apart from that, I'll just go kind of left to right, I think. Actually, no, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do HQ, troops, elites, fast attacks, heavy support, etc. I think. So apart from these HQ and, and the Lion, I've also got my Captain Gravis Army, Galazar, and they've all got these lovely nameplates. Not not just the characters, I've got lots of other things in nameplates, so I'll go you'll see those. Uh, Judicia or Judica, whatever it's called. My Ancient... Uh, two Primaris Lieutenants, his, 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 there you go, he's facing the right way, there they've got their nameplate as well. Got my Apothecary behind, he's got his nameplate as well, Ramiel I think he's called. And I'll start over this side, I've got my Phobos Captain, my Phobos Librarian, and my Phobos uh, Lieutenant. There, those are all the characters on that side, apart from the Lion. And then I've got lots of my Deathwing characters. So I've got my Chaplain, Zachael again still. My him playing him as a strike master, this guy. He's the um Forge World guy. Um this ancient thing. I think it's I think it's actually the old Belial model. I don't actually know, but um I don't, I don't think I'll ever use him to be honest with you, because he falls off that rock all the time for a start, but he's just a cool model. Belial, like I said, got my um, again, this is my Forge World Terminator Chapter Master. He's he's when I'm not playing sort of Asriel or the Lion, he is my Chapter Master. Um, and I've got my Primaris Librarian and my normal Librarian. Now, obviously, that's a Cypher model, but I run him as a Librarian. And other characters, other HQ, I've got well, not HQ, but other characters. I've got my Blade Guard Ancient, and then my Primaris Lieutenant and Master models there. Uh, or blade guard ones, and then at the front I've got my primary chaplain on bike. I had him before. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure. And Samuel, as I mentioned earlier, and I've got a raven wing champion, which I sometimes just use as a black knight. Um, uses the sergeant model black knight sometimes. And I do have now have a raven wing apothecary as well, which is awesome. So that's all the characters. Oh, and one of the other one I've got, I've got. I've got Tech Marine who goes with the Thunderfire, but um, there's all the, 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 I guess, characters, HQs or individual models. And then in the troops, got lots of troops, and so I've got 20 tactical Marines, and I've got these, I think they're Mark III, uh, they're Mark III, uh, Heresy era um, armor, because I much prefer these to the old tactical Marines. 20 of them, they are in um, four squads numbered. Um, but I, there wasn't enough space on this table to put all the squads out separately, so I've just put them as one big blob. And I've got my two units of assault intercessors still, 
my two units of intercessors um, as my primaris troops, and I've also got my five incursors and my no, sorry, my five infiltrators and my five incursors. Those are all the troops choices available. And then in the elites, I've got these dudes. These again, lovely photo models. These are veterans. So, I mean, they're companions for Horus Heresy, but I, I run them as um, company veterans. Um, I've got some scout sniper rifles, obviously, still. Uh, I've got my weavers, 10 weavers. They're elites. I've got my aggressors with the flamestorm gauntlets. Those are elites. Um, and then I've got my massive blob of Deathwing Terminators and Blade Guards. So the Blade Guard at the back, there's those three. My five Knights, my five Deathwing Terminators, and these are, again, these are Inner Circle Knights from Forge World, but I run them as Deathwing Knights. And I've got five Relic Terminators, which I either run as Relic Terminators or I run as just Deathwing, Deathwing Terminators. Um, that's most of the Elites done. I've also got three... Black Knights now, which are technically elite, but I can you think of them as fast attack, but they are actually elite. Um, other elite slots, my three dreads. Um, Zoriel, Astriel, and Bellion. Um, I think the Contemptor is new from the last time I did one of these videos. I've got a Redemptor, um, Ariak. Um, I've got two uh, Invicts Doctor Warsuits. Um, I've I'm not about naming those. I probably will name those eventually, but not naming them yet. Um, I think that is all of the elites. So in fast attack, I've got with all of this side, obviously got my Raven Wing, but I've got my two units of five incept three inceptors, which I could run as a unit. I've numbered them separately, but I could obviously run them as a unit of six. Um, my three outriders, my six bikes with the uh Mind blank with this one. <laughs> um, with multi melter, my three land speeders still. They, have, they haven't changed in a long time since I've owned them. Uh, I've now got a uh, Storm Speeder Hammer Strike, which is, I only used it once and it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> uh, I ran it with Samuel in a battle, which uh, I think it's on the channel, uh, which is amazing. I've got my land speeder vendor still, but I've now got a Dark Shroud as well um, with Hay Bolter. So that's cool. Got a new. You raise them in there as well. That's all my fast attack. I haven't got a huge amount of fast attack actually, it's quite small, um, but very, very good. Raven Wing are amazing. Then in my heavy support slots, I've got a Thunderfire Cannon, which is new. I've got some Centurions, which are new. I've got the Eradicators, which aren't new. Um, I've got my Repulsor, which isn't new. I've got my two tanks, which are definitely not new. They've had them a long time. Um, I think that's all my heavy... Oh, I have my Hell Blasters, they're heavy support. Uh, my... Mm, what are they called? They're not Eradicators, those are Eradicators. Um, eliminators. They're heavy support. I think that's all the heavy support I've got. And then... Uh, my Flyers. I've got my Storm Raven and my Dark Talon. But I've got a couple more. I've got my Nephilim Jet Fighter and I've also bought Storm Talon as well, which actually I don't necessarily intend to use as a Storm Talon because it doesn't have the Raven Wing keyword, so it's definitely not as good as either of the other two. But I'm intending to possibly run it as a Nephilim Jet Fighter with twin link NAS cannons because it's got it's got two NAS cannons. So with, with twin NAS cannons, sorry, um, because it has that on it. So I'd potentially use it as that instead. There's my flyers, and last but not least, I've got my drop pod transport. Um, and these these four statues are just cool ones, I've, again, that Merc's and Relics made for me. Um, they're in the most recent Battle of Hort, which is going to go up after this. So you'll see those uh, in a battle. They're really cool. Um, and they've all got on them. I will just show this off quickly if I can deal with that. They've all got Dark Angels um, mottos or sayings on them. So we have come, we are death. It's the motto of the Dreadwing. I've got loyalty is its own reward. Repent for tomorrow you die, and never forget, never forgive. Written on them, so um, oops, I'm just my camera was all weird up, up then, but yeah, I can't, I'll try and like stand up and step back a little bit. You can see just how big this army actually looks. Whoop, just about get it all in. Um, so yeah, 10,000 points of fully painted angels, definitely the biggest army I've ever owned, I would think, probably. 
yeah, I think it's bigger than my Chaos Warriors I used to have. Fantasy. Definitely the biggest fully painted army. Um, I think there's only a few models in here that I haven't painted myself, which I think is those Death Wing Terminators I didn't paint at all. I just did the bases. Um, some of them had paint on them. Like when I got these, they had paint on them, but I've touched them up. Um, apart from that, every single one um, I painted myself, which it does feel like quite an achievement to get this done. It obviously, it's, it is a simple paint scheme. Um, you know, just spray it black. Um, on focus, play it black, do the red, um, and then sometimes I put a, a dark wash over the red, sometimes I don't, I don't really mind that it's something different, and then I do the dry brushing and then the transfers. But I've also, as you can see, on all these models, I've done a lot more with these bases now than what used to just be the Martian Iron Earth or Iron Crust basing stuff on it. But I've now put grass, I've put skulls on every single base. Um, and I really think it does help the army to look that much better. See, all the bases have got either tough grass on or skull or both. Um, some of them I've not put skulls on, sometimes I've not put dust on, but and obviously the lions is a different base because it's a scenic one. Um, but that really helps the army pop as well. So yeah, I think it comes in at about 10,600 points in all. Um, I haven't even used, I haven't used the Centurions yet. I think I've used pretty much everything else, actually. I think those might be the last things I haven't used. Those Centurions. I've not actually used the Ravenwing Apothecary yet. Um, I've not used the Dark Shroud yet um, at the time of filming. Um, I think I've used... I don't know if I think I've used a Deathwing Strike Master either. Um, there's a few things I haven't actually used yet. Um, at some point, me and Jack are going to try and have a massive... Not say ten thousand, but I couldn't put this on a table big enough. I've got a big table big enough for all these, but um, we want to do like a really really big battle with um, as much stuff as possible. Um, probably something like five thousand points, which would be cool. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, there are stuff. <laughs> hey, there's like you can see it all here. I'll do a couple more. I'll do a panning shot. You can see all around, go across the back. along the front and you can see all the infantry and these guys at the front so yeah big part taking 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 a long time taking several years and I started this at the beginning of eighth edition um I have them now um in terms of what I want to get next um I want to get more dreadnoughts different dreadnoughts I want to get a venerable dreadnought I want to get a Leviathan Dreadnought and I want to get a Deredio Dreadnought as well. Um, I also want to get a Super Heavy, um, possibly two different ones. I'm thinking of getting the Astraeus tank and possibly a Fellblade tank as well. Because that, that, the Fellblade will kind of go with my Heresy era stuff, which I've got plenty of now. Um, and the Astraeus will go with my Primaris stuff as well. Um, apart from that, no other massive plans for, for a lot of stuff for this army at the moment. Um, I've kind of got all the Dark Angels specific stuff now with both the flyers, both the fast attack options the, with the the big land speeders. Um, I've got like all the Deathwing really. Um, I could get a Deathwing command squad but I don't really want one. I don't think they're really worth it. Um, I don't really need more Deathwing knights because I've got what, 10, I've got 10 Terminators and then with the blade guard and other things you can make deathwing i've got enough deathwing really potentially get more raven wing potentially get more black knights and more and more normal bikers um but i've probably got well 1500 1000 what between 1500 and 1000 2000 points of raid just raven wing with the flyers as well so i don't, I don't really need anything else for that um i don't i don't really want a gladiator tank Another Primaris tank, I think that looks, I don't think I just don't need it in this army. Um, there's other stuff I want to get. But um, I am still going to keep adding things onto it. Bits and pieces here and there, I expect. Um, obviously, if they release any new Space Marines, which I'm sure they will release some more Primaris at some point, um, I'll probably get those. Or if they redo um, 
any of the best if they redo any of these one of these guys i'll get them again if they do a, if they do release a lion model in 40k i'll obviously get it and just have two of them um might get another storm speeder it's called storm speeder yeah when i get another one of those um because they're really good or I, I, I thought they were really good um but yeah it's what it is <laughs> Ten thousand points was like a huge achievement um so i don't need don't do much more for it but yeah there it is uh, I just want to say thank you to Mercs First and Relics, Mark, for making all these things. So he's made like these guys, he's made all the name plates. You can see them dotted around all, all the characters, all the HQ and individual ones, like the Apothecary and the Ancients have all got name plates. All the Deathwing have got name plates. Um, Chaplains, all the guys along the front have all got their name plates and they look really cool. I really like them. A part of me is tempted to nameplate the entire army, but that's a big project. <laughs> um, it would be cool to have them all with nameplates on, because it does it does really add something to the army. But it's a lot. I've got to think of a lot of names. Then I, I'm running out of names with it as I've got. Um, possibly, um, but possibly not. We'll see. Anyway, there you go. Ten thousand points of Dark Angels this is my successor chapter, the Pride of Caliban, but random as Dark Angels. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.